I love it when a beauty product completely transforms a face in a beautiful and natural looking way. Nothing adds a sprinkling of playful looking magic to the eyes like individual fake eyelashes. Each little bunch has up to 10 feathery lashes so you can really add a lot of volume quickly. When I'm making someone up for the red carpet, 9 times out of 10 I'll use these. I'm not going to apply them in the way that you get done in salons that stay on for two to three weeks and you can't wear mascara. These are more for keeping on for a day or two, well a day really, but um, some people I know do like to sleep in them, very naughty. Um, I'm going to use the Ardell lashes, these are my favourite ones just because they don't have the knot at the top, which is quite good if you're not going to wear them with an eyeliner and you go a bit close to the flesh, because sometimes with the ones with the, the knots you see the little black dots, especially in my line of work if I'm doing lots of beauty shoots and things really close up. I just really like the ones without knots because they just blend in very very naturally with the lashes. There's other brands that do them, um, Screen Face which is a makeup shop in London does them and professional makeup shops worldwide you'll find knot free lashes. The other good thing about this brand is that you get a whole box of one length so this is the for example short one so you can get a box of medium long. Some brands have short, medium and long in one box and I just find that the long ones tend to be really really long and you end up going through box after box and using mainly the short and mediums and sort of discarding all these third of the packs that you never ever use so unless you really like very 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 long lashes you're better off buying boxes that just have one size in. So the other thing you're going to need is glue and there's lots of different types of glue. My particular favourite is Duo and this is a surgical glue that I've used for years and I find it's really good on sensitive eyes and also you can get them off really quickly afterwards because it's rubber based. There's two different types, they do a dark one and they also do a clear one which goes on white. I think when you're starting out if you're not used to lashes the white one that goes clear is quite good because it gives you an indication of when it's dry, you can tell how long they take to dry. Whereas the dark one, if you, get, if you get it in the wrong place or it gets onto your lid, obviously it dries dark and you can see it and also you don't really have the same measure of when it's dry. So I'm going to use the white one today that goes clear so you can really see. So I'm going to put a blob of glue on the back of my hand. It's not the hand that I use, I'm right handed so I'm putting it on my left hand to so be able to apply with my right. Now you don't have to put it on the back of your hand, I'm just used to doing it, it's what I've always done. You can put it on a little tray or whatever just to, to have it there but I'm just used to doing it on the back of my hand and that's how I like to do it. Now while that's drying because you need to wait for a couple of minutes really for that to get almost dry and quite tacky which is the best time to put the lashes on because otherwise they slide around you want to be able to just drop them on and they dry straight away so leave that for a couple of minutes. Now that's a good time to prep your eyelashes. Now you'll want to curl them so do any curling I've done this already but uh, curl your eyelashes and then use your mascara and if you need to to just brush through and separate them. You'll need to do that before rather than after because it's very hard to use eyelash curlers when you've got individual lashes on, they tend to go off in all directions. So to start with, turn the box upside down because you want the angle to be right, you're going to take one lash off using tweezers and if you do it in this shape it's going to be in the right angle. If you do it the other way around bizarrely you'll end up sort of you'll be putting them on upside down so turn it upside down and then just go down near the center of the lash and gently take them off once you've got them off you can dip into your glue which is really tacky now you can see it's much much thicker give a few dabs into there and then you're ready to apply that onto lashes drop the fake lash onto your natural lash close to the roots you want them to attach to your lashes, not to your skin, so they blend in well. You can use fingers or tweezers to push and adjust them into position. If you drop them on and they twist, don't panic. Just lift them off and reposition. You've got plenty of time before they dry. When choosing which length to use, think about the look you want to achieve. Also consider the length of your natural lashes, the shape of your eyes, the size of your lids and the amount of space you have between your lash line and brow. Here I'm using mainly mediums at the outer corner and centre, then working inwards applying shorter ones towards my nose. 
This is the way I personally like to work, but it's fine to work out with too. Apply as many as you like, depending on the effect you want. The changes in length should be gradual across the lid, so if you apply some much longer ones at the outer edge, then add some slightly shorter ones next to them to blend them in with your natural lashes. You can see here where the glue is still white that some are a little closer to the roots than others. That's okay, I like to mix it up a bit to create a more random effect which adds to the featheriness. The overall look doesn't need to be absolutely uniform. So I've finished both eyes and you can see there's still a couple of white dots left. Um, I just added an extra one, short one in the corner there and the ones that I've just finished doing there are still white. So they're gonna take probably another couple of minutes to dry. Once they're completely dry, you can either just leave them natural like that, um, in which case they just look very feathery and light, or you can add a little bit more mascara if you want a bit more impact, say it's for a night out or something. And once they're completely dry, this eye is completely dry now, you can just add mascara as you would normally. It's quite a good way blending your natural lashes in with the fake ones and it also just gives you a lot more impact. Okay so all the lashes are dry now, the whites all turn clear. I've added some mascara onto these ones so you can see the difference between from one eye to the other. I've also put some gel eyeliner along the waterline and also a bit more mascara on the bottom so you can see that this eye has just got a lot more impact so it's up to you, I mean you can just leave them like this they're very feathery and light with no mascara just add a bit more on the bottom or you can really add lots and lots of mascara to them so I'll finish my other eye and my eyes are done um, I love individual lashes because you can really adapt them you can have them long or short or long at the outer corners with or without mascara and um, they do have a more natural look than strip lashes just because they're a little bit more higgledy-piggledy because they sort of, they criss and cross and they, they go at different angles slightly so they look a little bit more natural and I think they're great. Hope that was helpful.